Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And your yesterday's quiz question was to name the initiative of Kerala government to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. And it is break the chain challenge. This was a campaign to make people aware about washing hands, using sanitizers, etc. So that is the break the chain campaign. Now let's start today's session. First question for the day. Danube order Elbe Canal often seen in the news connects option A Black Sea and Caspian Sea option B Black Sea Adriatic Sea and Mediterranean Sea option C Black Sea Baltic Sea and North Sea and option D Adriatic Sea and Aegean Sea so the correct answer here is it is option C Black Sea Baltic Sea and North Sea so guys this project is in use for long time you can say for centuries old as you can see in the map it is a construction of a huge y shaped canal connecting the elbe order and danube rivers and most of which would be in the czech territory here you can see the green color area so that is the proposed canal and the canal intends to connect the danube order and elbe rivers and this provide another navigable link from Black Sea to North Sea and Baltic Seas. The main Danube canal already provide a navigable connection between Black Sea and North Sea. And here you can see the location of North Sea, Adriatic Sea and the Black Sea. So this canal will be connecting these three. And several hundreds of uh, hundred kilometers of artificial waterways would have to be built for this canal. And this has become a controversy in Europe regarding environmental degradation and all. So critics have called on European Commission to ensure that the project would be excluded from European Union funding and not be included as a part of trans-European transport network. So that was in news recently. Now moving to second question. Second question is in the context of Article 142, who among the following has the power to do complete justice between the parties? where at times law or statute may not provide a remedy. Option A, the Supreme Court of India. Option B, the President of India. Option C, the High Court of the State. And uh, Option D, both A and B together. So the correct answer here is, it is Option A, Supreme Court of India. So guys, this Article 142 often comes in the news. It actually provides a discretionary power to Supreme Court. It states that the Supreme Court, in the exercise of its jurisdiction, may pass such decree or make such order as is necessary for doing complete justice in any cause or matter pending before it that is where at times law or statute may not provide a remedy supreme court can extend itself to put a solution to the dispute in a manner which would befit the facts of the case and as i said this article often comes in the news recently also Supreme Court removed Manipur Cabinet Minister Mr. T. Sham Kumar using the provision of this article. He is facing disqualification proceeding for defection. So Apex Court banned him from entering the assembly with immediate effect. So that was in news. Moving to the last question for the day. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. India has the fifth largest coal reserves in the world. Statement 2. The Damodar Coil Valley and the Son Valley in India are prospective areas for coal bed methane development. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C both 1 and 2 and Option D neither 1 nor 2. So the correct answer here is it is both statements are correct. So it is Option C both 1 and 2. If you see the classification of coal, there are four types of coal. One is anthracite coal. It is the best quality coal which carries 80 to 95 percent carbon content. It has the highest calorific value. It is not much prevalent in India, found in small quantities in Jammu and Kashmir. And second one is bituminous coal. It carries 60 to 80 percent of carbon content and a low level of moisture content. It is widely used and has high calorific value. It is found in Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. And the third one is lignite coal. It is often brown in color and it carries 40 to 55 percent of carbon content. It has a high moisture content so it gives smoke when burnt. It is found in Rajasthan, Assam and Tamil Nadu. 
and the fourth one is peat uh, it has a it has less than 40 percent carbon content and has low calorific value and burns like wood so that are the four classifications of coal and if you see the distribution of coal in india we have mainly two types one is gondwana coal gondwana coal makes up to 98% uh, of total reserves and 99% of production of coal in India and the carbon content of Gondwana coal is less compared to carboniferous coal because of its much younger reach. Gondwana coal is 250 million year old and carboniferous coal is 350 million years old. Carboniferous coal is almost absent in India and anthracite is generally not found in Gondwana coal fields. Gondwana coal is free from moisture but it contains sulfur and phosphorus and it is mainly seen in the Damodar Valley, the Mahanadi Valley and the Son Valley, Godavari Valley and in Vartha which is in Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh region and in Indravadi region and Narmada Valley that are the mainly occurring areas and second one is uh, the treasury coal which is 15 to 60 million years old the carbon content is very low and this coal generally has a low carbon and high percentage of moisture and sulfur actually it takes a few hundred million years for the carbon content to improve and uh, important areas of treasury calls includes uh, parts of Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, uh, West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry. and uh, lignite and peat are types of uh, treasury call and another one is coal bed methane it is extracted from unconventional gas reservoirs where gas is extracted directly from the rock that is the source of gas and the vast majority of best prospective areas of coal bed methane development are in eastern india situated in damodar coil valley and son valley so that statement is correct and guys our today's quiz question is uh, which is the highest coal producing state in India so name the highest uh, coal producing state in India please post your answers in the comment section so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching